I want to transition to what just took place. Uh, I guess uh, something happened over in Russia. There's been uh, pictures and images of it. Um, th here we go. Let's play this. I don't know what, what this is, Colonel, um, but there was a lot of this going on last night. I don't know if you've been able to verify it. Some are saying these are drone strikes, that maybe a uh, munitions plant in Russia was hit. Um, but this was, you know, 24 plus hours ago. What do you make of this? Because here we played yesterday the Secretary General of NATO, Hans Stolenberg, saying, look, uh, I believe we should lift restrictions on long range missiles for Ukraine to go, you know, shoot into Russia. And of course, Putin's saying, you guys do that. We're going to war. And these guys just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. It seems to me they want war. I think war checks all the boxes from the banking crisis to stripping us of our liberties and freedoms, the things they can do during a war. But what are you hearing the latest on what these images we're showing? Well, Stoltenberg also said that uh, in the context of responding to the questions about this explosion, it's like, well, it's no big deal because Putin has, has said that he had red lines, we've crossed them, and no big deal. Well, that's not true. Russians, The Russians have responded to certain red lines, and this is one of them. So uh, I do believe that uh, NATO, Stoltenberg, wants to expand the war. They've been being, they've used very bellicose, provocative language to try to get Putin to react. Uh, I think this is another uh, instance of that. I don't believe this. Some people were speculating this was a nuclear weapon. It wasn't a nuclear weapon, but it was some sort of a, a major uh, ammunition dump within Russia. And I think it was from a drone strike from the Ukrainians. And I think you're going to see some level response from Russia. And m mark my words here, the, the Russians are serious about their red line regarding nuclear weapons. They feel if there's a potential of, of NATO coming in and doing things to jeopardize their ability to protect their, their territory, they they have said they have the right to use nuclear weapons. And I don't believe they're they're joking at all. And the the the, the progressive left and globalists, because they're together on this, the neocons, uh, have no problem with that. It's a very Malthusian concept. They think that, okay, we go to war, uh, we lose a few million, so what? Uh, remember, these people all think there's too many humans on the planet, so what's a few million humans dying in a, in a, a, a nuclear, uh, you know, uh, conflagration. They don't care. So it's it's a very dangerous time because you have people who are literally narcissists in charge who really believe somehow that a nuclear war would benefit them because they could continue to insinuate themselves and do all these other things to create this global uh, 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 governance, system of governance, which they've been seeking for a long time.